Hi everyone, this is Mastiqua coming to you with the Mummy Lifestyle with our curriculum choices for 2015-2016 homeschool year for my first grade son. We have his Scholastic Children's Dictionary here. You can see that. We have first language lessons for the well-trained mind level one and level two. We have his primary composition book here. I think I picked this up from Walmart. <laughs> we have his draw and, write, draw and write journal from Lakeshore Learning. We have his daily comprehension practice journal from Lakeshore Learning as well. We have his reader's book log. You actually see the inside of that from Lakeshore Learning. We have his handwriting. We have handwriting without tears, my printing book. And we have his writing folder, which is upside down. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Bear with me. As you can see, he already grabbed a marker and wrote inside of it. <laughs> We also are using, um, prob probably using Soaring with Spelling, either that or the Rod and Staff Spelling. I have no idea which one I'm going to go with yet. I haven't made my final selections on Spelling or Writing Composition. I am looking at uh, Rod and Staff for Spelling and I am looking at Winning with Writing. So far, I think I like the um, Soaring with Spelling and Winning with Writing by Jack Chris Publishing, but I'm not sure. I'm going to, I plan on making my final selections this weekend. So if you have any recommendations for spelling and composition for a first or second grader, please let me know down below. Okay. In the for reading instruction, he, my son also, he will also be using uh, the Hooked on Phonics first grade workbooks, level one and level two, and these are the DVDs that, it, that goes with it. Uh, my son actually already knows how to read. <laughs> He's been reading for a very long time. The only reason why I continue to go uh, use the Hooked on Phonics and keep going through because I want him to have a really good understanding of phonics rules. Um, and he'll also be going through his Bob books as um, readers also. Um, and it also, Hooked on Phonics also came with readers. Uh, this one is Slim Sam. This one is Lucky for Me. This is Good Job Dennis. This is Fred's Red Hat. This is Chick Chick the Ping Pong Chimp. This is Over My Head. We have the case of the Missing Sandwich and the Little Ghosts. But um, those are the selections that I've chosen to use for his reading phonics instruction. Okay, everyone. These are my son's, um, uh, I guess, read aloud um, independent reading selections. I'll say it like that. Um, for him for his 30 minutes of reading time. Um, these are only a few books. These are some things that I have on hand. Um, and I have a few more things that are, uh, a few more books that are going to be, going to come in. But I wanted to show you the things that I do have on hand right now. This is Franklin has a sleepover. We have Franklin in the dark. We have Nathan and his favorite Arthur. We have Busy Beavers. We have Franklin goes to the hospital. Franklin in the dark. Franklin and Harriet. Franklin's babysitter. Franklin is messy. And we also have Daniel's duck. We have mouse tails. We have Poppleton and friends. Um, my son has read Frog and Toad or friends. I don't know how many times, but he still wants to read it. So I'm going to let him continue to read it. He loves all the Frog and Toad books. We have Buffalo Bill and the Pony Express. We have First Flight, the story of Tom Tate and the Wright Brothers. We have Wagon Wheels. And we have Prairie School. But those are his independent reading selections that he'll read um, before he goes to bed every day at night. Okay, that's what we have for independent reading selections. Okay, we're back for math. For math, he uh, we will be using uh, Math Mammoth for him. And this is the Math Mammoth uh, Grade 1A and 1B Complete Work Text. But this is the inside of Math Mammoth. You 
you can see. He's going to do great with this. Math is a strong subject for him. But that's it. That's what we've chosen this year for math for my first grade son. Okay, everyone, if you saw my second grade daughter's um, curriculum choices, um, please know that we, my little child, my younger children actually do science together and we will be studying biology as a whole this year. Um, so let me go over uh, the choices again. Um, before we start, actually start our homeschool year, we're going to do a mini weather unit, um, basically because after the tornado hit our house this uh, last year, um, our, my children have been terrified of like wet, bad weather patterns. So I figure if we do a weather um, unit so they can actually understand the weather better, they won't be as afraid as they have been. <laughs> um, this is a book from Usborn. This is the Usborn Beginners book and it's a book about weather. And we're going to um, pair it with some YouTube videos. And also, we have the Clouds book. This is the Let's Read and Find Out Science. We also have, uh, for our main biology spine, it's the Christian Kids Explore Biology book. And this is his science um, uh, binder, biology and life science that I created for him. And it's the same format. I just got to go in and buy the um, tabs that go in here. But these are the notebooking pages that I created to go along with the book. Okay. But that's his binder his personal binder. I love it when I can find African American clip art. <laughs> okay, over here we have the selections that we'll be using with our science um, uh, curriculum. And these are supplements. This is um, sharks. I actually got this from a Target dollar spot. Butterflies and moths. This is an Us Born Beginners book and this is how, flyers grow, how flowers grow. <laughs> we have caterpillars and butterflies. We have tadpoles and frogs. We have your body once we get to the human body. We have birds of the air. We have plant life in field and garden. We have Christian Liberty Nature Reader Book K. And we have Book 1. We have the Burgess Bird Book. We have Eyewitness Ocean. I'll open this so you can actually see it again. As you know, I love the illustrations in the DK books. and the Usborn books. We also have the first Encyclopedia of the Human Body, which is an Usborn book. The illustrations in that are wonderful. We also have seashells, crabs, and sea stars. We have the amazing honeybee that came from the Target Dollar Spot as well. We have bugs or insects. That's another let's read and find out science book. Let's see. Let me move over here. We have um, ocean life. We have another butterfly book. This is his my body book. It's a teacher created resources uh, workbook. It has different body parts. This is his science journal. So he'll write about his favorite thing for, from the week. He'll pick a topic. This will be for Friday. And this is his STEM journal. Okay. And those are the selections that we have for biology this year. Okay, now we have fine arts. Um, I failed to mention in my daughter's uh, video that we will they will be learning how to play the recorder. We do have a wooden recorder that we uh, purchased <laughs> from Rainbow Rainbow Resource that we'll be using as well for music instruction. Um, we will uh, for art uh, art appreciation basically. We have Andy Warhol, we have Rembrandt, we have Norman Rockwell. And for picture study, we have the Come Look With Me, Discovering African American Art for Children.
and I'll show you the inside of this in case you hadn't watched my other video this will be picture study it has questions to ask it has um, write up about the picture and everything and over here it's music appreciation um, of course my son will not be learning about ballet because he doesn't want to <laughs> so the only thing he'll participate in is the other Mozart book he'll probably just do his recorder lessons while my daughter's studying ballet <laughs> and we have the story of the orchestra And those are our fine arts choices for first grade. Okay, now we have literature selections for uh, first grade um, literature and and read and read aloud time. Um, my first and second grade and my preschooler, of course, they'll all be doing read aloud time and literature together. But um, these are the selections that we have. Again, <laughs> this is a Little House chapter book. It's Animal uh, Animal Adventures. We have The Courage of Sarah Noble. We have Peter Rabbit and 11 Other Favorite Tales. We have The Adventures of Chatterer the Red Squirrel. We have The Adventures of Peter Cottontail. We have The Adventures of Jerry Muskrat. We have The Adventures of Buster Bear. We have Adventures of Grandfather Frog. We have The Adventures of Danny Meadow Mouse. We have The Adventures of Reddy Fox. We have Tornado. We have The Bears on Hemlock Mountain. We have Pinkie Pie. We have the Little House on the Prairie. We have the Trumpet of the Swan. We have a uh, Child's Garden of Verses, which is basically a poetry selection. Uh, we have the Story of Ferdinand. We have Hen's Feathers. It's stuck together. We have Moon Cake. We have Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. We have Make Way for Ducklings. We have Robert Frost stopping by the woods on a snowy evening. We have The Day the Goose Got Loose. We have the story about Ping. My children love this book. They want to read it again this year. <laughs> we have Madeline. We have Mike Mulligan and the Steam Shovel. We have Sweet Clara and the Freedom Quilt. We have Owl Moon. We have uh, Louie by Ezra Jack Keats. We have The Glorious Flight. We have When I Was Young in the Mountains. We have How to, to Make an Apple Pie and See the World. We have Where the Wild Things Are. We have The Velveteen Rabbit. We have Very Last First Time. And of course we have Aesop's Fables for Children. And those are our literature and read aloud selections for Okay this. guys, finally we have our history selections for this year. Um, we are doing early American history, uh, courtesy of my friend Joyce with Raising Boys Homeschool. We will be studying early American history with an African American focus. And these are some of the selections and books that we will be using along with um, our history studies this year. And plus some extras that I've chosen for our geography, state study, and president study. These are the card flashcards from Target's Dollar Spot. These are the 50 states flashcards. And here we have the U.S. President's uh, flashcards. I have this puzzle here that I've been holding for the past year and a half from the Dollar Tree. I can finally use it now. As you can see, it's been beat up pretty badly, but hey, I can still use it. I actually found these books last night at Target's Dollar Spot. And it's the President's um, book from the Dollar Spot and the 50 states book. Um, we have the timeline history of the 13 colonies. We have smart about the 50 states. You know what? Let me open this book so you can actually see the inside of it. But that's the inside of that book. We have smart about the 50 states. I'll let you see the inside of that one. Getting that neat. I just love it. Uh, we also have mapping from the maps from Map Trek that I don't have here, but I'll. If you want to see them, I'll do another video and show you the inside of the maps for Map Trick. Um, we have If You Live When There Was Slavery in America. He will be um, doing history together with his um, with my second uh, grade seven year old daughter as well. We do history and science together. We have If You Traveled on the Underground Railroad. 
We have red, white, and blue, the story of the American flag. We have 100 African Americans who shaped American history. Here is his puzzle. Yes, I have purchased each and every last one of my littles, their own personal United States puzzle, because I do not want to have them fighting over one puzzle. <laughs> and this was from the Target dollar spot. I also have him, his um, United States President's workbook, and the United States uh, 50 States workbook. Target dollar spot for those as well. We have Building a New Land, African Americans in Colonial America. Um, the Discovery of the Americas. And we have A Living History of Our World, Ancient A Americans Through the Gold Rush. And this is, we have Level 1 and Level 2. And we have In Our Own Image, an African American History. But that concludes everything that we'll be using this year for first grade for 2015-2016 school year. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen or you want to see the inside of them, please let me know down in the comments below. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching and shalom.